Hi, RCCA, and welcome back from winter break. This session is going to review PBIS at RCCA. What is PBIS? PBIS stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. PBIS is a national program that helps develop positive school culture through different criteria, such as clear expectations and rules, student engagement in the classroom, appropriate behavior and acknowledging when you do the right thing, and responding when the right thing doesn't always happen, and maximizing our structure in the day to make sure that you have a positive experience in high school. One of the components of PBIS is our Rhodes College and Career Academy Behavior Matrix. Give me a thumbs up if you have seen this before. Hopefully you have, especially our upperclassmen. If you haven't, you might be a newer student or you're a ninth grader that maybe hasn't had to look at this too much. So we're gonna review it a little bit today. Part of PBIS is creating clear guidelines for behavior that we would like to see in our building. When you're doing the right thing, life goes smooth. But if there's ever bumps in the road, our behavior matrix gives us guidelines for how to respond to those maybe not so good days. So if we take a look across the top are things that you might have a talk with your teacher about to get back on the right track, such as disrupting your own learning, disrupting others learning, being disrespectful. In the far right column are student actions that you can do to get back on track. On the left hand side in this column, we see the different levels of behavior. Level one is in class. Level two is also in class. These are things that your teacher will just have a conversation with you about. Level three is out of class. This is when you might go have a talk with Mr. Underwood or one of the other administrators. Teachers, please pause this video right now and distribute our behavior matrix resource sheet. Give students about 10 minutes to review the behavior matrix. If you need to shine that last slide up, the uh, slideshow is in the uh, folder. Please take some time to fill this out and discuss our behavior matrix. We wanna make sure that students, you know exactly the kind of behaviors that we do and don't wanna see to make sure that our CCA runs smooth. Take time now to do this. All right, so you just went through the behavior matrix, which outlines the negative behaviors or maybe the not so great behaviors that you might have on a bad day. The other part of PBIS is uplifting positive behaviors that are going to help you have a good day and help you enjoy your days at our CCA. At our school, we use our compass characteristics. Our logo of our CCA has always been the compass because we're moving in the right direction towards college and career. Our four different characteristics are never give up, excellence, be self-advocates, and we own our actions. What this looks like is here below. In a second, I'm going to give you time to look through this and figure out what this means for your daily life at RCCA. Our RCCA Compass characteristics guide our actions in our four years. It's designed after the CMSD profile of a graduate and our RCCA core values. It exemplifies what it means to be a community member here at RCCA. If you're newer to RCCA, you might not know about Kickboard yet, but hopefully people that have been here since the beginning of the year know all about it. Kickboard is our positive behavior tracker that you get points for when you do awesome things in the classroom and your teachers can reward you and high five you with Kickboard points. You can turn those points in for swag and other fun stuff, such as entrance to different events or um, discounts for activities or swag in our Kickboard store. When you display examples of our Compass characteristics, your teachers can give you that Kickboard Compass cash. To check your Kickboard app, you're going to go to Clever in your computer and it should automatically connect. You could always come see Miss Blanchard or your teacher if you're struggling to get your Kickboard uh, to connect or to see how many points you have. All right, 
Teachers, I'm going to have you pause the video again. Students, please flip to the back of your resource sheet. With your class, take a few minutes and review the four compass characteristics and what they mean. With your class, brainstorm some different ways that you could exemplify the four compass characteristics at RCCA. What are the daily things that you do that show us that you are a community member that's exemplifying our four characteristics? All right, so you just brainstormed some of the ways our compass characteristics play into our daily life at RCCA. So last but not least, I wanna leave you with something really exciting happening in our RAM shop. For about four months, a lot of you have been coming um, asking for new swag in the RAM shop. Well, it is finally happening. So starting in January, we will have new hoodies in the RAM shop. They are 150 points, which you might say, Miss Blanchard, that's too many points. Well, these hoodies are awesome. And with 150 points, that means that you're exemplifying our compass characteristics daily. So if you're a student that's working hard academically, doing the right things, or improving when you know you might have a rough day, keep working on getting those points. Come see me or Jordan in the Ram shop to pick up your hoodie. Again, if you're having trouble accessing your kickboard, come see Miss Blanchard or ask your teacher for assistance. It's gonna be a great second semester. And with your help, we are gonna have the most wonderful 2022 ever. All right, go Rams.